who should be West Ham's next captain? Uh, for me, it's a resounding decision to go for Rice because he's shown in his short career at West Ham that he's definitely got the credentials to be um, proper captain. Um, he's shown it with even, without even having the armband. And he's already had it once. Um, I know we lost that game, but he's had it once. Uh, he's already in the England team. He's, the potential is, is massive, and that's, that's another statement. But it's also the fact that we want to keep him, and if we get relegated, um, or you know, if we manage to stay up, there's no guarantee that he's going to want to stay at the club. Um, all this stuff about loyalty, it's all you know, it's it's all it doesn't really matter. In the day, contracts are contracts, football's football, money's money. So um, if you want to keep him at the club. Give him some responsibility. You know, if you keep making captain, that's an extra incentive to stay at the club. So for me, it has to be Rice. And um, you know, I think he'd make a good captain. Uh, be a good, good takeover from Mark Noble. So um, yeah, Rice for me. So who is my captain for West Ham United next season? If indeed we do see a next season, the way things are at the minute. You know, we just have no idea how long this this coronavirus is going to take effect. We just don't know. Could it be two weeks? Could it be two months? Could it be two years? We have absolutely no idea. It's a welcome break for, in one way, not seeing West Ham lose. <laughs> but it's hard at the same point. It really, really is hard. And this question is equally as hard. Honestly, I mean, this I really, I've really struggled with this since the question was put to us a few days ago, or well, quite a few days ago. Who's the captain for next season? My gut instinct is still saying Noble. It really still says Noble. But what level of captaincy should he have? Is he club captain? Hundred percent. Is he team captain? Don't know. To be honest. Um, is he vice captain? Without a doubt, if he's not team captain. So if he's not going to be team captain, then who is? Is it going to be a Bonner? Is it going to be Rice? Is it going to be Fabianski? Is it going? Is it going to be? Who, who knows? Could, is it going to be Ngakia? It could, it could be absolutely anybody. If I'm honest with you, it really could be absolutely anyone. Um, you know, we, we need we need somebody out there that shows leadership skills. It's good to see that Noble um, is still sticking sticking with it and doing it. He shows very good captaincy skills. That's the point. His leadership is getting better. It has been since he took over from Nolan uh, five four seasons ago. But who's going to be the future? Is it going to be Declan? I'd love it. Don't get me wrong, you know, he said the other day that he, he wants to, he sees himself as as the captain at some point. And he said he, even himself, he's grow, grow, growing up, he never thought he'd ever see himself as a captain of a side. And fair enough, fair point. Can't argue that in any shape or form. But is he ready? Um, he's, re he's ready in terms of being able to give instructions on where to be and where like very more esque in that side of things, is he ready to do it for an entire season? To get players pumped every single game, give them instructions all the time, make the decisions when he's called up by the referee. And to talk about instances, I'm not sure. I'm really, really not sure. Don't get me wrong. You guys know me well enough by now um, that I do love. Rice, I think, is a fantastic player. He's shown the, he's certainly got the attributes. Are they strong and big enough for him to be the captain permanently? I don't think so. I really, really don't think so. Um, is he good enough to be kept vice captain? Yeah, more so than Creswell, ideally. Um, you know, because Winston Reid is technically is the vice captain, but we haven't seen him for two seasons, so it's been Creswell. Sometimes it's been Ogbonna. Sometimes it's been Zabaleta. Zabaleta's out of the question because he's going at the end of whenever the season's going to finish. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's a hard, it's really, really is a tricky question to answer. It really is. Um, for me, next season, it's Noble. 
It really is noble. Because I don't think anybody else is strong enough to do it for an entire season. Noble himself, I'll be very surprised if Noble himself is playing every single game again next season. He can't do it this season. I'll be very surprised if he can do it next season. So, who is going to be the captain in, in his stead? Rice when he's not on the pitch. Very good on, argument for that. Ogbonna. I'm not a big fan of, of defenders being captains, to be honest. All right, okay, you've got the, ex, you know, the exception to the rule there. For example, Lucas Neal was a very, very good player and a very, very good captain. Um, but I really don't think there's more to it than... That's why I really think there is more to it than just going, yep, it's going to be him, yep, it's going to be that. I mean, because it's, it's got to be a captain. It's got to be a captain out there. It's hard. It's a really, really difficult question. But as I say, to try and round this up, if Noble isn't going to be captain next season, then for the um, for the games that he isn't captain, I'm choosing Rice. Okay, so the question is, should, should Declan or Ogbonna or even Noble or any other person captain the team? For me, I think Ogbonna is the best candidate. For me, when handing out the captain thumbband, experience is key, as well as their performances, obviously. But looking at next season, uh, if all players are, are, are fit, this is West Ham. So at times we have challenges in fitness. That's, that's a no-brainer. So if everyone is fit, and this includes someone like Suchek, it means that Players like Noble may be missing out on the on first team football. And this will leave of the three candidates, this will leave Ogbona and Rice. And again, experience for me, as I've said, is key in selecting the captain. So Ogbona is having a an upper hand as compared to Rice in terms of captain picks. But in the future, obviously, if we can hold on to Declan Rice, then he's our he's our next Mr. West Ham. Let me just put it as that. He's our next Mr. West Ham. We just have to hold on to him. And then in the scenario that Ogbonna won't be playing as good as he has recently, we also have Fabianski, who is quite experienced, quite a presence and I think he may be a good choice. If not Ogbona, let's have it being Fabianski. If not Fabianski, then Rice maybe. Hi guys, Ian here. For me, our captain is and always will be Mr. West Ham himself, Mark Noble. The reason for that is a captain is more than the best player. He's a player that embodies uh, the club philosophy. Um, he puts out ultimate professionalism at all times. He's a player that puts in a big tackle when it's needed to get the crowd going, get the players revved up. Declan Rice, going forward, I do think is going to be the captain, um, but only once Mark Noble retires. He is our best player. Um, he is still very young and I think our focus should be on development and not labouring him with the pressures that come with being a club captain. Um, for example, the toxicity around the, uh, the board at the club at the moment is something that the club captain has to rise above and get the, the crowd on side, get the rest of the dressing room on side to play every week. It's a very difficult job, especially when you're developing as a not only a young person, but as a footballer. Um, if we can keep hold of him and he develops in the way that he is at the moment, then fantastic. What a captain we've got to come. He's learning from one of the best. He's learning from a, a, a man that's only ever been at one club um, and he's West Ham through and through. I think Declan Rice has got the potential to be one of our greatest ever players and one of our greatest ever captains. But don't rush that and ruin it. So the question is, who's captain next season? Well, um, I believe it should be Noble. Um, if he's still in the team, you know, 
he'll always be the one for me currently because he understands the club. Do he? He's been there a long time, he knows what the fans want. Okay, he might be getting a bit slow. And people are saying he's coming to the end of his career. But he's been a good servant and I think it would be very disrespectful to take the captaincy away from him. But if he wasn't on the pitch, then I think it's Rice. He understands, I feel, from the things he said, what um, what the, what the fans want, what the fans expect. And um, I think he will lead from the front. You know, and won't be afraid to say to someone like, you know, give them a clip around the ear roll verbally to like pull their socks up and play better. Obonna, I don't think he's a captain. He's a good player. You know, he's been doing better in the last few games, but um, I would not say he uh, he is captain potential. Um, and to be honest with you, I can't really think of any others who would be uh, a captain. Zabalette would be a captain, but he's well past it. So uh, it's rice for me all day long, all day long. All right, I'll leave it there. Keep it sweet this week. Take it easy. Up your hammers. Come on, your eyes. Hey, everyone. I'm Lena Starr, and I'm here to talk about West Ham and who will be a captain for next year. So obviously, we all love Mark Noble. He's our captain, my captain, and he's Mr. West Ham. But unfortunately... As we all can see, um, he's just his legs have gone. He's just not the player he was a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. So realistically speaking, we do need to look for a new captain. And uh, realistically speaking, um, there's only a few candidates on our team right now, which is one of the big problems. Um, so if we really look at it, there's Fabianski, there's Agvana. Uh, Creswell and Declan Rice and if we start with Fabianski um, it's never really a good idea to make a goalkeeper uh, captain just because um, you know technically speaking during a game what's he going to do if he needs to talk to the referee on the other side of the pitch is going to sprint all the way there before the ball gets into our goal no you can't do that so that's Fabianski out even though of course we I personally would love him and we all know that um, so then we go on to Agbana so he hasn't been that great last two seasons, and this season he's pretty good, but I just he's not captain material in my opinion. He I just don't see him as the kind of person who has that kind of uh, fervor and you know saying you know I just don't see him saying to people you know mark him mark him. I just don't see him as captain material. So for me that's Agbana out, and um, then we go on to Cresswell, and he has been captain before. But unfortunately, he's probably also the worst left back in the league. So hopefully we'll get a new left back. And unfortunately, Cressy, that's you out. So then that leaves us with really only one viable option, which is Declan Rice. And personally, I think he's the best choice. Um, he's very young, but he's very passionate. He's the kind of person you see sitting in bubbles when you walk onto the pitch. Um, and so that would be the obvious choice. However, what if he doesn't stay with our club, you know? I mean, that's a very realistic option, you know, very realistic problem that we could face. So really what we need to do is try to look for new leaders. Someone like a John Moncour or a Billy Bonds type person. Um, we need people like that, uh, someone who can be a leader but who can also play very well. I would say that Snotty would be a perfect candidate for that, but he's just not very young and he's not very quick. So. Um, I love him as a person. He takes the mick out of everyone, including the people who come to drug test him. But he's out as a candidate for me. So hopefully, you know, we'll see some new players, um, you know, in the candidacy for a new captain for next year. But, you know, the most important thing right now is that we all have a next year, you know, with everything going on right now. I hope that you're all staying happy and healthy. And I just want to make sure that everyone is focusing on, you know, taking care of each other. I hope everyone has a great day. And I hope that you all love my West Ham merchandise. Um, this is Alina Starr just saying, go Hammers. <laughs>